Hey everyone, it's a Crafter Chris Share back for another video. I made a terrible mistake in the first one and didn't realize it until I was looking at something. Um, so now I have to do this all over again. So you will just have to excuse me while I go over and get my stuff off my bed. Okay, I am back. Like I said, I made a terrible mistake in my last video. I showed something that I should not have showed. And of course, didn't realize it until it was completely done until I was looking at something. So, starting over. This is episode 125. Um, I want to say a huge thank you to my, um, subscribers. Um, yeah, I gotta go through this all over again. That was a 45 minute video. So, as we're just gonna get right into it, it is 1.16 a.m. on the 21st of September. Um, I'm gonna get the admin out right away. Um, I want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to my 755 subscribers. I know I don't say it every single week, but I really do appreciate you guys. As you know, I did a video, well, maybe some of you know, I did a video for a pattern release. I published my first paid for, paid for pattern over on Ravelry for my um, V-stitch poncho for the child size. So it is $5. So it is up over there. It um, There's a written pattern, of course. Um, so... Let's just get right into it because I already messed up and of course I'm staying up all tonight anyway so it doesn't really matter. I also did a video um, say, showing you that I am going, I am starting to sell my stitch markers. I already have two orders. Um, this is what happened the first time I showed Marla's address. Marla, yours are already made. They will be going in the mail first thing t this morning. And, um, I hope you like them. So, yes, yours will be going in the mail. Um, Jill, if you're watching, yours are already in the mail. So, you should be getting them very shortly. And I am sending them right through the mail. I did get your payment. Um, thank you very much. So uh, we're going to go with the crocheting first. And then we are going to go over um, the stitch markers that I um, made. Which will shorten it up quite a bit. So um, we are going to do finished objects. So this is my first finished object. Um, it is an octopus. Um, if you watch any of my videos, you know that I have an octopi addiction. Uh, the one I've been making here recently is Rels from the Dabbling Hook. And I do not like this little guy because his legs are too far underneath him. And if you turn him this way, he kind of looks like a strawberry. So, he has green eyes. So, it is shocking. This is shocking pink and spring green. So, he's done. I made this one. Um, it is coffee, red heart super saver, and um, light raspberry. He has pink eyes. I think he's a little creepy, but my mom seems to like them. She's the one that picked the high color. 
I also made this one, and he just has black eyes. Um, I use Berry Pulling, which is, I love how it's spiraled, which is my new favorite variegated yarn from Red Heart, Red Heart Super Saver, and just plain white Red Heart Super Saver. Um, I finally finished my, um, pineapple of my eye baby blanket. I will definitely be making more of this pattern. I love this pattern. I use a six millimeter hook for this and this will not be my last one. So, and it is in, it is in the, in the cupcake yarn in the colorway jelly bean. I also have three dice bags that I've made. Um, these are just using half double crochets. Um, and I do have double crochets until I think it's long enough. Then I do a row of double crochets and then I do a scalloped border for the top. Um, and then I just weave in a chain, um, through the double crochet. So I made that one and that one and this one is in Sage and which is Red Heart Super Saver. And I use a six millimeter hook for these and the blue is Big Twist Premium, I think, and Medium Denim. I also made one in Hello Gorgeous Atlantis, which this is one of my favorite colorways of theirs. Well, actually, I like them all. Um, and this is also a finished whip or finished object. It is a little poncho that I made from Ophelia Tox. Sorry. Um, she has a t t video for a pon Drani stitch poncho that she made over the weekend. And this is it. Um, you just make it longer. But I made mine for a child. And this is Aruba C. This is Pale Plum. And this is Light Raspberry Red Heart Super Saver. Um, now we are into whips. And I'm going to show you my... This is the second one blanket that I designed. Basically, it's just a bunch of different stitches. It's kind of like a sampler. And I'm using a six millimeter hook for this. I used a um, six and a half for the granny poncho. So this is the stitch definition or the stitch pattern for this one. It's V stitches, granny stitches, and um, cross stitches, which I've never done a cross stitch, but I really like how this looks. So there is the stitches again. And these are great um, stash buster projects. Um, this is the first blanket I designed. I'm calling it the Granny Crosswalk because it has granny stitches in it and it has cross stitches in it. So I'm on the blue. I did um, a pink, a sage, and a mint. And this one, um, the V Stitch Poncho, I had a wonderful friend of mine um, help me edit it and things like that. I did send her. Uh, this one, the, um, typed up pattern for this, um, don't worry, Laura, Laura, I'm not done with this one yet, so you can take your time. I do really, really appreciate you helping me, um, format it and edit it to make it uploadable to, um, Ravelry. Also... Um, I am making the Sugar Smacks or something, um, Cal from
from Big Bag Go Day Crochet Crystal. And I'm using a 6 millimeter for this also. And I'm using um, Karen Cotton Cakes in Nested Blues. And that is all of my lips. I do have one ac yarn acquisition. And that is a Hello Gorgeous yarn. For some reason, when they first came out with this specific yarn, this one was $6.97 and the rest of them were $3.97. Well, they finally marked this one down to $3.97 and it's called Sedona. And I love this one too. So I'm going to be making some octopies out of this. So be on the lookout for octopies. Now, you're going to get in the stitch marker stuff. So, I showed you um, the beads that I had gotten in the stitch marker video. But, in addition to that, I also got this. I just got this today. It has um, four empty compartments, which are the ones underneath the label. And, I have my lobster clasps. I have my lever back um, things, and I also have bigger lobster clasps. So that is um, the stuff I had bought for stitch markers. So the stitch markers that I have still have for sale is this is bag one, and. I am selling them for 50 cents a piece. So if you buy um, 10, it'll be $5. If you buy 12, it'll be $6. And I can customize them to whatever color you want. I also have lever back um, and bigger lobster clasps. I have lots of lobster, little the medium size one, like this size here. Let's see if I can. I also have like a lot of, and you can't see that. Let's try this. I have lots of that size there. Um, so, um, this is stitch markers. These are just all of them. So this is bag two. Uh, this is actual hook markers. Um, I have, well, this is also a, um, a, uh, this is actual stitch markers and they're just, um, colored beads with colored beads and there's 12 in here. Uh, this one is hook markers, which is what I am calling them. And these are letters with, uh, pearl pink beads. And this is pack three. Like I said, I also have, um, I also have, um, numbers. This is letters with purple beads. There's 12 in there. This is letter, letter beads with red, clear red beads. Um, this one I literally just made a while ago. This has both in. It has uh, sizes. Oh, forgot to tell you. Um, three, five, and seven have... Um, sizes C through L in them. Uh, number 8, which has 10 in, has sizes 5, 5.5, five 6, 6.5, six 7, 8, size 7 and 8. And it comes with, I think, 4 actual stitch markers. So there is that one, and these ones are on lever backs. 
Then pack nine, there's ten in this one, and these are number stitch or number hook markers, and they are from size four to size ten. And there's ten in here, and this is bag nine. So if you are interested in any of these, um please let me know. I will um, have my email address in the description box below. So if you were interested in any of them, you could just email me which ones you would like, or you could comment in the comment section which ones you would like. Um, I think that is all for now. I keep saying, um, and I do apologize. I am just not feeling good. I just want to sit here, watch something, and I think crochet. Um, I was going to lay down, but I got to get up in about seven hours, so there's no, not even any point now to take my pills and lay down, so I'm just going to stay up and sleep tonight. So, um, like I said, um, my PayPal is up and working, uh, so... It might take a while for I got to get I gotta get on and check just to make sure everything is getting validated and stuff. So, like I said, that is it for now. I hope everybody has a great Saturday. Um, and like I said, Marla, I will get your package out this morning. Um, as soon as it gets light outside, I will take it down to the mailbox and get it in the mail. Uh, so, that is it. I, like I keep saying, I will talk to you guys later. I hope everybody has a great weekend. And have a great night, or technically morning. Bye!